Okay, so the last element we need, I know there's quite a few videos on drawing different widgets, but the last one we're going to need on this one is a button. So, um, and this button when clicked is going to be the thing that drives the, the program because it's event driven. So this is the effectively the main button, which is going to run our game. So um, the way we do it is we do self um, dot button and we've got built in like we had a uh, we had for the text box we've got something we can use for the button which is called a push button so Q push button widget and you put the text on that you want to appear in the brackets so that's going to be a button that says enter on and um, I'm going to again do some uh, quite a comprehensive compared to the other stuff styling um, because I think it's important that it looks like a button and maybe has a similar hover effect that you saw me set up on the uh, text box. So we're going to do the same hover. So we need to set that up like that and then we need to do the hover. So star hover um, like that. So we're going to have similar to the last one. So we'll have border. Um, is two pixels solid and it can be uh, black you'll see this is very similar to the other one uh, border radius 10 pixels so for the curved edges uh, background I'm going to use the code that I was using for um, that we, I think I've used this already. 7190. Um, font size. And we'll do 20 pixels. Uh, so again, we'll do this margin left and right thing. Although, do it. I'll add that in if for any reason it's not centered. I ended up doing it both, both times last time. That was it's just no need. Um, color white for the font. And then inside hover, we're going to change the background to um, black. using the hex code and we'll change the font color to white so again some of you are probably think it's a bit weird that I am writing white for one and I'm doing the hex code for another it's to try and remind you you can do both so, <clears throat> so you can put hex codes in you can write words the only thing is hex codes you've got yeah th is it 65,000 colors or whatever it might be and um, the for, with these you've got a limited amount of colors you can have like light gray dark gray you can have light and dark with every color but you're still limited to like each color and then maybe two or three shades of the color so it might be enough but you know you've got more control with the hex code so you can do either anyway um so once we've got a button now we need to do we need to link the button to something so we need to do self dot button dot clicked dot connect so this is what you do in PyQt you connect uh, the buttons to different things so what do we want to run when we run our button when we press our button so first off I haven't got because this is all if you remember within draw items so what I need is a another function that's going to be used right pass for now so that function is where I'm going to put all my sort of uh, logic for my game in and what's going to run when you actually press the buttons you know go and get the contents of the text box compare it against the random number all of that sort of stuff so uh, I'm going to have to run that here so self dot button click like that so that's going to run this button click when I uh, press the button so then here self dot Grid, and I'm going to add it to my uh, board. Add widget self dot button. 
and we're going to say row six, that's the next row down. Zero, one, three. So it's spanning three columns, but it's only spanning one row and it's on row zero. So it should keep it in line. I realize I was still running the old one. There. So that's worked. If I do this margin auto thing, let's see what difference it makes here. See if it's something you might want to do. Give it an automatic margin. So that's what it looks like without. When I press with, it's made. It's giving this little bit of a margin on the edge, which is giving an auto margin. Which, to be honest, probably looks a little bit nicer. Okay, but I could have a proper width for the button and things like that if I wanted to. So that's. Um, I think that's the basics of the game now. It's just a case of adding the logic in. So I can type in here. I can press enter. But nothing happens at the minute. And I can't type in more than three characters, which is right. So we need to now make our game, which I'm going to do in the next video. Yeah.